first play now, the big time, the 99 and a half quarter. This entry shows what is taught in both the basic riders course and the experienced riders course where the rider is required to ride down the sideline and then make the U-turn from there and I don't like this for two reasons. One, it requires the newer rider to ride at a slow speed in a straight line next to the sideline which may be difficult for the newer rider. But the more important reason is if there happens to be traffic behind you that perhaps you didn't see while you're riding along the curb getting ready to make your U-turn that traffic might think you're getting ready to turn or stop and then pass you in your lane and hitting you while you do the U-turn. Not a good thing. I recommend you don't practice U-turns near any obstacles because eventually you'll screw up and hit one. If the U-turn isn't going right, just add power, uh, release the clutch, release the brake, and accelerate straight ahead and you won't have any problems. Doing it this way, it's fairly easy to do a U-turn at about 19 feet or so. The box is 20 feet wide. This method will show a way to maintain control of your lane a little bit longer, as well as to make the U-turn a little bit easier, although not necessarily any tighter. If you'll notice, uh, it's a 20 foot wide box. At the apex, down at the bottom of the picture, I have a 1 foot wide gate in the center of the U-turn. On the right side, you can see it very dimly. There's a one foot gate that's uh, set 10 feet back from the baseline, and the same thing on the left side. The idea is to pass the front tire through these gates, and you'll make an exact 20 foot U turn. I found that by knowing where to place the front tire and looking ahead uh, when you enter a first gate, look all the way over to the one on the opposite side and hit that gate, it makes it a lot easier to get the U turn down. For those of you on the bigger bikes, just make a 24 foot wide box and set the gates 12 feet back from baseline instead of 10 feet back. If you notice, all we're doing here is half a circle. We've done those before if you've been working through the exercises, so this is nothing more than a half circle. The third entry is what's called the dip. What you do is you start next to the sideline, you swerve away from the sideline and then into the entry gate. And this will cut about a foot or so off of your U-turn. It's not something I use on the street because it doesn't maintain control of the lane, but it's something that's used in other exercises that will be done later. Sometimes I just like to play and I'll be doing some circles inside the U-turn box 
If you think about it, what is a U-turn but half a circle, which you've already become familiar with in previous exercises?